Plenty of people want to make sure the world knows Florida is open for business despite what you see on the map. In spots like Anna Maria Island and Bradenton Beach, they are banding together to spread the word through social media. Melanie Michael joins us now from Manatee County. Well, hey there. Good evening to you from Bradenton Beach, where locals are hoping their message goes global. They're also hoping Governor Rick Scott will see this letter asking for more red tide relief money for businesses. This is the Florida that locals are hoping the world will see, enticing tourists to come visit. I want folks to enjoy what we have to offer. Businesses in Bradenton Beach now banding together to fight red tide as a community. We've got to encourage more people to do just what we're doing right now. One local hotspot hoping to shine a bright spot on social media, Swordfish Grill and Tiki Bar, a mainstay in the area for four generations. I want people to know that it's not as bad here as they think it is. There's nobody dying out here from being in the water or out here breathing this stuff. Come on out and have a good time. There's a beautiful sunset tonight and everybody's missing it. General Manager Bob Slicker admits business has been tough lately, down 70%. But the conditions right here, right now, perfect with no problems. We locals don't give up. For Jane Veergrass and her buddy Marilyn, this is paradise, where their weekly ladies' night for a dinner out remains regardless of red tide. We're no spring chicken, so if we can come out and survive, um, anybody can. So <laughs> don't be afraid. Everything is open and ready to go. And that is certainly the message that locals are hoping that the world will hear. They're hoping to meet on a nightly basis for the next couple of weeks, touting a positive push on social media, touting tourism. I'm Melody Michael in Bradenton Beach tonight, News Channel 8.